what you're seeing here are the instruments that are used in the downstage position in the Essa Pekka Salonen cello concerto. Uh, there's flexitones, which I was playing, the bending metal and the bending pitch, maracas, and this sort of collection of these drums. Um, bongos and congas. This is sort of the easy part of this tour. The more complicated part of the tour are the Adams Works, which use these large setup in the back, which we'll go take a look at. So one of the biggest challenges with percussion is square footage. How much room are we going to get? We go to a new hall, do we get enough space for all of our equipment? And in the Adams, the percussion is rather large because we use two marimbas, vibraphone, xylophone, it all takes up a lot of square footage. So our setup changes when we go hall to hall. In the Solonin work, the cello concerto, we also have these large gongs. Well, they take up a lot of space as well. And throughout the tour, we have to set up and tear down all of this equipment. And we have to get here early enough to see whether or not it's going to fit on the stage and how it's all going to work. And fortunately, it continues to work because we have a great stage crew. So the amazing thing about the orchestra when it goes on tour is not only do we need to find space on stage, but we need to haul all of our gear in trunks. So it has to have a home. I mean, all of our cymbals are in bags that go into a trunk like this. All of our snare drums and that go in cases like that. I know that the string players in the orchestra would go into shock to see the way we throw our bows in a, <laughs> a mailing tube and put it in the trunk and everything's fine. Thank you.